Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Crank, what are you doing? All right, he's good. All right, up. Hayden, explain what we're doing. Mail room number seven, right? I think you should explain. No, I think you should explain. What probably. Happened? Everybody's probably wondering why these cards are not in the nine or ten envelopes that they came in today. My dad. <laughs> to start recording yeah that was uh that was our fault our fault <laughs> collectively our fault no, it's not we got a lot of good cards today uh we just uh we're gonna make this quick because we already opened them all and we thought we were recording and you forgot to click the record button on the obs stream so <laughs> let's get into it this one's pretty cool nice little thick like 300 point card Bobby Ryan. So we've been collecting Bobby Ryan for a couple weeks. Dante Fabro, Bobby Ryan, and just about any Predator Oilers we can get our hands on that we think are interesting. This one was neat, too. It's from the Cup. It's older. 13-14, the Cup. Uh, it's a super thick card, and, and uh, yeah, I thought it was a neat card, so we picked it up to add to Hayden's personal collection. So thick that we don't even have any, uh, as you can see, we keep a huge stock of uh, top loaders and one-touches on hand for all your breaks, but we don't even have one big enough for this. So Fancy. We, by getting that card, it's helped us identify deficiencies in our inventory. Next card <laughs> is a 159 and a 165 dual patch, dual color. Nugent, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. There you go. In case you're wondering, we have Hayden's mom with us tonight <laughs> and the dog. Who the dog is, uh, as you saw earlier in the, uh, in the stream there, let me see here. Yeah. Well, I don't even know why I'm being sticker because we he's have his logo ever. He's the original bad Yorkie. He's the worst. And he's here. By the worst, we mean the best. He's here with us tonight. Hanging out. And uh yeah, we're doing a family mail room tonight. Mail room really? seven. So moving on. Eli Tolan, future watch, five fifty nine and nine ninety nine auto, on card auto. Mm -hmm. Nice little pickup for us. Dante Fabro. 23 out of 399 uh jersey card cool little pickup this one we've been waiting on a little while it's one of the first cards we got when we started turning turning up the collection this year uh, it took a while to get here but a dual jersey austin watson auto 115 out of 499 dante fabro who we've been collecting the most of lately uh, Nashville Rookie, 76 out of 249, black diamond, silver on black. I really like how these cards look. Hayden, you like these, right, too? Yeah. It's the uh, same series that you pulled that Quinn Hughes out of a couple weeks ago for Easter. Yeah. Dante Fabro, Nashville Rookie Obsidian. We've got a ton of these uh, in our personal collection now and more, more coming as well. Uh, I really like how they look. This is a sweet card. Victor Arvidsson, three, uh, 30 out of 50 premium relic. Tricolor patch. Um, we picked up, what did we pick up the other night out of that break? Uh, our own break when we had Nashville. I don't remember. Was it Ryan Ellis? It was one of these cards. Yeah, I think Ellis. it was a Ryan Ellis. It was pretty sick. Ben Bishop, number 30. Black Diamond, Sparkling Scripts. Uh, auto card. We like the stars. They're like, they rotate between our third and fourth favorite. Now we're getting into a couple, a couple three, three. These all came from the same lot, but these are three cool cards. So we have the John Klingberg jersey, obsid black obsidian, very pretty card. Then we have the John Klingberg, same card, but an on-card auto. And then after that, we have a 15 out of 49 black obsidian script, purple, on-card, silver, sharpie, John Klingberg. So a little three-card set we picked up there. Scotty Gomez, Fleer Ultra, Fresh Ink. I think this is from like 2007. Yeah, 2006, 2007. So uh, if you don't know, Scotty Gomez is actually a uh, Alaskan. Alaskan Anchorage area native. Um, and we play, I hate him played in a hockey tournament. I'm going to out this. I uh, want this top loader because this one, I don't like, I hate this tape. When the people will ship this stuff with a tape on it. Uh, Hayden played a hockey tournament a couple about a month ago before they shut off hockey for Alaska. Right and before it was our last outing. Yeah, it was like right as all this COVID nineteen stuff was spinning up, and then the next day I uh, was on the in the elite bracket playing with some some guys from the army team and myself, and we uh, actually played our second game of the day against Scotty Gomez and a bunch of his NHL buddies. How'd that we, go for you? It was great. We we learned so much. <laughs> we learned so much. 
There's another Scott Gomez we picked up. Yeah, I think we got obliterated like 15 to 2. Uh, but it was a uh, it was they, a good game. Did they snipe it from across the edge? They 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 did what they needed to do. Pond hockey, did you say it was pond, pond hockey? Pond hockey, that's what it was. Another Scott Gomez. So he's an Alaska native, uh, and, and we've started to collect a few of his cards where we can. Is he Here's fast? An, he, no, they weren't. <clears throat> they weren't faster than us. I can promise you that. They just moved the puck so much better because they knew what they were doing. It's a tournament. It was the Scotty Gomez Foundation tournament, so he knew what he was doing. Uh, Michael Gran <coughs> Mikhail <Wow>. Granlund. <coughs> Excuse me, Mikhail Granlund for the Wild. Uh, signature placard, black diamond. Beautiful card. Pick that up as well. And a lot. And this one's kind of cool. A quad color Ryan Hartman, number 38. Ooh, pretty. 216 out of three, three, uh, 375. I really like the black diamonds. Because um, once you get into the higher end stuff, you get out of the lower end jersey cards, you get in the higher end stuff where they start snatching the logos. There's not really any part of the logo that you don't get a three or five color swatch from. Uh, that's why I really like collecting. That's super cool. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful, pretty card. And then last but not least, we've got a before the trade Mika Zabinajad. What do you mean before the trade? Who's he play for now? Does he play for I thought he got traded to the uh, who did he get traded to? Rangers. No, is he still with the Rangers? I thought he got traded. We'll figure it out. Anyway, Mika Zabinajad. Uh I'll it's a look it up. super low zero zero eight out of one sixty five. No, 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 no. Uh that's yes, Siri. Well, we can't because we're using my phone to film right now. <laughs> uh, for the Rangers, uh, I like this because it one one it's a it's a it's a low um, it's a low serial number, which is great. And then on top of that, it's a dual jersey card with two different parts of the jersey, which I really like. So, yes, that's where we're at tonight. Sorry, we don't have any shout outs to give because we threw all the envelopes away when we thought we'd successfully film this for the first time. Fail. But we yeah we didn't. So now we're refilming it. But that was quicker. And probably more entertaining. So, so mommy, you want to sign us off? Uh, thanks for watching. No, figure it out. I mean, we got the We might have to wait until next time for that little bud.